Hello everyone, in this video today we're going to be talking about the difference between tracing and referencing. Oh, but Merrick, what's the definition of tracing? Not to worry, you silly little child, I have it right here on Google. The definition of tracing is a copy of a drawing, map, or design made by tracing it. This essentially means you're putting your pen on top of something that already exists and you're going over it again. Oh, Merrick, I'm still confused. <sighs> That's fine. Here, let's try a different example. For this example, we're going to be using a picture that I found on Google by The Wondrous World Around Us. Just in case you want to check them out. Okay, gonna totally trace this ref because who cares? Yeah, I added my own stuff on top of it so it's cool and original. Right, stop! No. Stop! No, that is borderline tracing. If it's a complete and utter exact copy with anything on top of it, it's still tracing. Thank you, Merrick. But what else can I do to not trace? I'm so glad you asked because the next reference we're going to be using is by Ribbon Dash Ren on DeviantArt. Look at these two pictures. They're almost extremely identical besides the small changes that are being made. This is not acceptable. If you lower the opacity of someone's work and trace over it, even if you change things like the hair and add on, it's still a trace and shouldn't be posted. Did, did you get that? Do you understand that you can't put your pen over someone else's lines? Good. Next up is highly referenced. Highly referencing is when you look at someone's work and try to duplicate it line for line. Even if you change things slightly, it shouldn't be posted or at least you should contact the artist for permission. This like means you looked at it and you tried to draw exactly the same, but you didn't exactly do it right. So there are small changes between it, even though it's still someone else's. Finally, next up is referenced art. Let's take a moment to look at this. Do you see the obviously clear changes that were made, as in the head changes, the tail, the completely different structure of the way the fox is flying. You do? Good. Let's move on. Referencing is when you look at someone's work and use few key elements of the original to make your own. You can still see where the influence came from, but it has its own twist on it. As you can see, someone went out of their way to actually try and learn to make their own art without copying. Like, look. Look at her nose. It's very pointy. It's very cartoony. Look at her eyes. They're very anime. The smile is a half smile. She even has a little earring. Now look at the difference. Look at that. Different hairstyle. Different eyes. Different nose. Different smile. Looking in opposite direction. No earring. There's even wings on the creature. Look, it's it's completely different. The next example is by Naomi Sky Art on Tumblr. Here is an original piece of artwork done by them. Here is a trace piece that was unfortunately done. Here's another beautiful piece that they've done. Here is a trace piece done. Anyways... What I'm saying is, it's not even that hard to figure out if someone's tracing or not. All you have to do is put the traced work over the original work and lower the opacity and you can see the lines meet up for yourself. And uh, if you're struggling that much with art, I suggest you look up tutorials, ask a friend, you know, just start from scratch with just like little scribbles and stuff, you know, because otherwise... I missed the part where that's my problem. <laughs> 